Hey guys, welcome to RhinoTutorial.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use blocks and the advantages that come with using blocks. Here I have just a roughly drawn out I beam with all the curves exploded. I'm going to select them all and type in block. And the command line will ask me to pick a base point. I'm going to just choose this bottom left corner. And now you have to name the block. I'm going to just put in I beam with a capital I and go to OK. Now I'm going to duplicate this I beam. And now, for the sake of argument, let's imagine that you've designed a building and you have 60 blocks throughout the building. And your engineer tells you that all the blocks, all the I beams need to be made taller by 2 centimeters. Now if you used blocks, you wouldn't have to go and change every I-beam individually. You would only change one and the others will be automatically updated. Now I'm going to show you how to do this now. I'm going to select one of the blocks. As you can see, they, they are all blocks. I'm going to select one of them. I'm going to type in explode. Enter. And I'll extend I'll extend it by using the scale 1D tool, like so. And I'll move this back up. And we'll type block in again. Select the base point, I'll choose the same position as last time. And what you want to do is name it after the previous I-beam. So in the scroll down menu, I go to I-beam, I go OK, it's going to ask me whether I would like to replace all the other I-beams, click yes, and every other I-beam has been automatically updated. So this is a very handy time saving tool, and that wraps up this tutorial about blocks, and thank you for watching a Rhino tutorial.